So we'll start with our usual warm up and then we'll do some extra warm ups <clears throat> before we do a little bit more intense back things. So starting in mountain pose, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down to keep your hips nice and open, shoulders facing the front and crown reaching toward the ceiling. So ribs in and up, get the core active and relax your arms. Inhale, reach your arms out to the sides, extend up through your head. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows a little bit back. Stretch way out to the front with your shoulders down. And then exhale, hands behind you, fingertips clasped, and lift your heart. Stretch through the top of your head. And as you exhale, pivot over. So come into your forward bend as deeply as you'd like, and then relax. So think about focusing on letting that lower back get a good stretch since we'll be working it this morning. Tuck in your chin maybe a little bit, hands toward your head, and weight in both feet evenly. Bend your knees a little bit, <clears throat> lift your ribs, drop your sitting bones, keep your chin in as you wind slowly back to the top, and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, press your hands toward the floor slightly, and keep that chest nice and open. Keep lengthening through your spine, and keep breathing. And on an inhalation, come upright and release your arms. Take a moment feeling that energy through your spine. Keep the focus on that lower back area this morning. And again, inhaling, reach out to the sides, up through the head. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch way out to the front. And exhale the hands behind you. Clasp the opposite way and press your knuckles down. Head, head toward the wall behind you as you lift your heart. And pivot over as you exhale. So come into that position as deeply as you'd like. And relax. Hands toward your head, get a little workout in the shoulders. And again, slowly work your way up, stacking your spine back to the top and lifting your heart. Stretch through your spine as you open through the chest, lengthening through the whole body. And then inhale upright, exhale and release. Again, take a few moments just to focus inward in your yoga perspective, remembering that inner perspective is where your yoga happens. So keep that focus in your lower back. And we'll do our side stretches. So arms out to the sides, palms toward the ceiling, over your shoulders, and clasp your hands. Bring your arms back by your ears, sitting bones down, shoulder blades down, Keep the body straight as you lean over into that lateral motion. So press the foot you're leaning away from down. Feel the ribs on the side. You're stretching away from open up. And just maximize or minimize that side stretch as much as your body would like this morning. And then inhaling, coming back up. Switch your hands to the other one in front. And again, into both feet evenly. Keep the body straight and exhale to the opposite side. Lengthen out through your hands and your head and open the ribs on that other side. Keep breathing, lengthening, pushing the foot you're leaning away from down to deepen. And then inhale back to the center and release. Take a moment feeling your ribs, your sides, your spine. And our twist. So keep your spine opening, sitting bones down and crown high as we get ready for our twist. Arms out, palms up and over your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, bring them back by the ears and sit, sitting bones toward the mat. Stretch up to the crown and exhale either way into your twist. Knees a little bent, weight on both feet. Stretch up, breathing in, and exhale. So deepen into your forward bend. You can keep the weight on both feet evenly. 
and keep your arms near your ears as you're in your forward bend. And then inhale in your twist as you go all the way to the top. And look up, chest high, but lower back gently moving into it. Upper body back bend. Elbows back, chest is your focus. And then inhale upright, exhale to the center, switch your arms around, and pull your shoulders back down. Sitting down toward the floor, crown high, and twist. And lay down both feet evenly as you breathe in, and then over. Again, coming into your forward bend, just relax, knees a little bent if you'd like, and deepen with your chest toward your legs. Keep the weight on both feet and stretch your spine. On an inhalation, a twist and look toward the ceiling, raising your heart. So keep the upper body as you focus for the back bend, being gentle with your low back while it's twisted. And then inhale, exhale back to the center. Arms straight up, keep them by your ears. And push your sitting bones toward the wall behind you as you pivot at your hip joint and come to parallel to the floor as much as you can. Arms still by your ears. Stretch it from your head back to your sitting bones. And then drop into ragdoll. And just let that lower back get a good stretch. If you want that extra stretch, hands behind you, pull in a little bit more and get that back getting a good stretch through the lower area. And then releasing your arms back to the center, roll your way back one more time up to standing. And as you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment to pause. Feel that lower back area particularly because we're going to be focusing there today. So a little more stimulation through that lower back section of your body. Just keep the focus there for your yoga practice. So we're going to bend the knees toward the toes, not beyond, and then either clasp your hands, your elbows behind you to keep your back stable, or you can do reverse prayer position, fingertips up toward your shoulder blades, palms pressed together if you want a little more shoulder work this morning. So either way is fine. Bending your knees toward your toes, remember not beyond, you don't want to overwork the knees. And then we're going to do big hip circles around, just getting that whole lower back area, getting a little bit more motion, a little bit more circulation. So keep rotating as you allow yourself to focus on stretching through that region of your lower spine. And then stop and go the opposite direction. And again, just let that whole lower back Get a good workout, energizing, and just getting a little gentle stretch this morning. And then releasing that, coming back up into mountain pose. Just take a moment to feel your body, especially that stimulation through that lower back. So we're going to put the hands on the back so that the base of your Hands are near your shoulder blades and your fingertips go down across your sacrum. And then pull your elbows toward each other to give a good expansion across your chest. Feet hip width apart, everything lined up like mountain pose. And then keeping the hips above the ankles, lift your heart toward the ceiling and push your head back. Breathe into it and just keep your hands providing a little support through that lower back as we go into this back bend. So chest high, lower back supported, and stretching your whole length of your spine. Keep breathing, heart toward the ceiling, elbows toward each other. And then chin toward your chest, inhaling and standing back up. Again, just take a moment, feel that lower back area getting a good energy boost. We're going to step the feet just a little bit apart, angling the toes out with the knees going the direction of your toes. 
And then hands above your knees, position don't support, so no pressure in your hands. And we're going to push that lower back, sitting bones area out as you pull your chest forward. So back bend, focus in that lower back area maybe. So chest forward, you can keep the chin tucked toward the chest if you don't want to crunch the neck too much. And then ribs back, sitting bones down and forward, getting a good stretch through that back area. So first you're going into inhaling back bend, pushing the sitting bones back, getting a good pelvic tilt, and then exhaling, rounding forward, getting that belly pulled in, ribs in, as you round into that C-shaped forward bend. So just slowly going through that range of motion, making sure that your hands aren't pressuring too much into your legs. You want to keep the knees right where they are. You want to keep your shoulders right where they are so that the main motion is through the spine, through that middle section of your body, particularly warming up that lower back with a little pelvic tilt motion as slowly or as quickly as your body likes. Breathing, relaxing, deepening, or being gentle, if that's something that you need this morning. And then the next time you're rounded forward, just roll yourself back up and into mountain pose. And again, just pause there. Realigning, repositioning, closing your eyes, feeling that circulation deepening inside. Breathe deep. Let the tension go. And then we're going to again move those feet a little bit out and angled with the knees going toward the toes. We're going to be a little more energetic on this one. So remember, personal practice, do what's right for you. Starting with your hands on your hips, we're going to bring the hands to your legs as you bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond. Push the sitting bones a little bit back. And then standing back up, straightening everything out. So as you exhale, push down. And as you inhale, stand up. And if that's working well for you, then we're going to get a little bit more energetic. So as you go down, instead of pausing at your knees, if you want to, we're going to go all the way toward the floor. So if the shins are as far as you can go, that's fine. Otherwise, all the way down. And then again, standing back up. So exhaling down, inhaling up, just turning your frog here. So it's kind of like a frog swimming. As you move those knees towards your toes, kind of a froggy kick kind of positioning for that lower body. And the upper body opens as you come up and kind of goes forward as you go down. So breathing either to the floor as you exhale or to your knees depending on what you prefer. If you like it and you want to get even more energized, you can go faster. So as fast as you like. In the Kundalini tradition, they do this 108 times. But of course, we don't have time to do that this morning. So just come back up and turn your feet back and return to mountain pose. Again, just observing how that lower body lower back feels. A little bit more energy going through there. And breathe, letting tension out. And then inhaling, bring your arms overhead, palms together, swan dive forward, get your back nice and flat, arms at shoulder level, straight out, and then drop into ragdoll. And come all the way down to the mat, into child's pose. So hips back to your heels, and forehead down toward the mat. Remember, make your adjustments if you need to. The closer your knees are, the more you're going to get that stretch in the lower back. So if that's good for you this morning, do it. And if not, you can separate your knees and breathe a little bit more easily. So just adjust into that child's pose. Put your padding if you need it. Ankles, heels and hips, calves and thighs under your forehead. And then inhaling, sit up. 
hands under on your back just the same way we did while we were standing. We'll rotate those elbows toward each other, hips back on your heels, and just look overhead. So elbows toward each other, pressing the hands into that lower back area for a good support as you raise your heart. And then exhaling, round your spine forward, bringing your forehead down, and extend up to the front, extended child's pose. Take a moment there, just let your whole spine lengthen, and breathe. And then inhale and sit up on your heels, and bring your legs out in front. So adjusting into staff position, sitting bones connecting to the mat, heels out, toes pressing up toward the ceiling, kneecaps also toward the ceiling. So everything's aligned, maybe a little internal rotation to keep those legs nice and straight, just like in mountain pose, upper body also stacked, shoulders over the sitting bone, over the hip. So take a moment and breathe, and we're gonna cross the legs, so go ahead and bring your legs into a comfortable cross-leg position. And of course, we're creatures of habit, so we always put the same leg in front or on top. So switch it around and move into your sitting bones evenly. So we're gonna focus on the lower ribs. We're gonna keep the hands on your knees or even keep them at your sides if you prefer. And we're just gonna move the lower ribs around. So forward with the lower ribs to the side and then to the back. So we're getting a circular motion through that lower back area, lower ribs area. So the bottom of the ribs go back to the side, forward, and around in a circle. So we're getting more circulation going through that lower back sacrum area and spine. And after you've done a few circles in one direction, stop and go the opposite direction. And again, just focusing on keeping the ribs at the lower body, your focus for that motion. So you're not really moving through the whole pelvis or the shoulders very much. You're moving through that midsection of your body. And then stopping and returning to your upright position, just feel what's going on through that midsection. And we're gonna extend the legs to the end of the mat and roll back onto your back into reclined integration. So as you come down onto the mat, just let your shoulders, shoulder blades sink down. Kind of push your sitting bones toward your heels, bending your knees letting that whole sacrum lower back area sink into the mat, and then relax your whole body, just feeling how that feels as you allow your body to sink. We're gonna press that low back down, bend your knees, and bring your heels in next to your sitting bones. So the kneecaps are straight up toward the ceiling, so hips, knees, and heels, ankles are aligned. Spread your toes, get the weight on both feet evenly. And then we're gonna lift the ribs toward the ceiling and push the sitting bones down and keep the shoulders and shoulder blades on the mat. So you're gonna get a space under that lower back area. And then exhaling, push that lower back down, sliding your sitting bones toward your heels and letting the whole spine reconnect to the mat. And then inhaling again, Sitting bones roll down as the ribs go up, and you go into that lower back back bend. Exhaling, pushing down. Inhaling, pushing up. So you can be as gentle or as emphatic as you want with this. You can just do it a teeny little bit if your back is bothering you and you're having any tenseness or tightness in that lower back area. It's a rehabilitation that strengthens your lower back. It also tones your abs a little bit, so that's always good too. If you really like it and you want to be more emphatic, you can go as much into pressing down and lifting high with the ribs 
as your body would like. And it's a really good morning exercise, getting your back stimulated and that lower back moving a little bit more. So inhaling up, exhaling it down. And then releasing that, just coming back to neutral. Feel that circulation through your lower back. We're gonna keep the hands, palms down next to your feet, next to your hips, keeping the knees straight up. So make sure your knees don't spread apart. If they are, do that inner rotation at the top of your thighs to keep the knees in line with the hips and the ankles. And press your lower back down. You can keep your hands, palms down on the floor and inhale and lift your hips toward the ceiling. So you're rolling onto your shoulder blades as you come into that gentle bridge. And then exhaling, release your shoulder blades, release your spine, release your ribs, release your whole back down, back to the mat. So we're going to do a couple more bridges, and as we do them, just keep the focus in that lower back area, just gently working it. So if that gentle one was enough for you, stay with that. Otherwise, as you press down, exhaling, inhale, hip bones up, coming toward the ceiling, arms and shoulders down, and then move higher onto your shoulders, not your neck. Keep the back of your head down, your shoulders down, and lift those hips. If that's working well for you, clasp your hands underneath and press the little fingers into the mat, the hands into the mat, and maybe move up a little higher onto the shoulders, lifting the hips all the time. So knees stay right in line with your hip bones and your ankles. So no knees out to the side, no knees toward each other either clasping your hands or keeping your palms down. And then when you're ready to release, hands release, shoulders release, shoulder blades come down, spine and ribs come down, slowly moving back all the way to the mat so that you feel that whole spine articulate back down. As you get all the way down, just feel the circulation. Notice how your body is stimulated. And we're going to do the same thing again. So one more time, really press it down and inhale, lift the hips, pressing into your arms and hands as much as you need to. Make sure those knees stay up. So rolling in at the top of the thighs to make sure that that's working. You can put a block between your thighs if that helps you to keep that alignment better. And again, this time clasping your hands the opposite way with the other finger outside. Press your hands and arms down. Move up onto your shoulders if you want more of that back bend. Chest high, hips high, and feet evenly sinking down. Knees still right in line with ankles and hips. Maximize as much as your body wants and allow yourself to keep that hip area, lower back area, lifting high as your focus. And then again, releasing your hands and your shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs, spine, everything returning to the mat. Take a moment, feeling that stimulation, noticing how your body is working as we do those back bends. And then pressing your spine to the mat, draw your knees toward your heart and head toward your knees, giving yourself a little forward bend to counteract that back bend. Head back to the mat, hands to the floor, and feet to the mat. Take a moment, again, breathing, and let your whole body relax. And then once more, check to make sure your hips, knees, and heels, ankles are lined up. So this time, we're going to take the right foot up and put the ankle above the left knee and push the knee slightly away from you. So a little hip action there. And then pressing the back down. Once again, hands, palms down near your sides. 
we're going to lift those hips up and come into a bridge with your knee crossed or your ankle crossed on your knee. So as much as you'd like to go up into that lower body, lift, press into your hands and shoulders. Again, you can move up higher onto your shoulders. If you like clasping your hands, you can do that again as well. Take a breath, lift the sitting bones, lift the hips, and keep everything aligned so that that foot supporting you is in line with your knee and hip and shoulder. And then exhaling, the shoulders release, the shoulder blades, the ribs, the spine, everything comes down. And lift the foot, align the leg, and return it to the mat. Just take a moment, feeling how your body is stimulated and probably a little unbalanced. So, of course, we have to balance the body and do the same thing to the opposite side. So, once again, pressing your back down, lift that opposite leg, cross the ankle above the knee, and push the knee of that bent knee away. Again, press your back down as you exhale. Press into your arms and hands and shoulders. Inhaling, lift the hip bones straight up toward the ceiling. Keep the knee straight with the ankle and the hip. And keep pressing away with that opposite knee. So hips up toward the ceiling, sitting bones, hips up. And palms and arms and hands supporting you. Or again, clasping underneath to work higher onto your shoulders if you love that. So maximize or minimize. Keep those hips lifting, 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 breathing, relaxing through the whole body. And then slowly, shoulders release, shoulder blades, ribs, spine, everything back to the floor. Lift your leg, realign it, and put your foot back down so that, again, your hips, knees, and Heels, ankles are aligned. Take a moment and breathe. And then extend your legs out straight. Bring your arms up overhead. Inhale, arms straight up toward the ceiling with the palms toward each other. Use your abdominals to control your movement. Lift your heart and follow with your whole body coming all the way up. And reach for your toes if you want to. Get a good stretch since we've been doing a little bit of back bending this morning. So make sure your heels are right even at the end of the mat. Sitting bones down, spine stacked for support. And we're going to push one hip way past the end of the mat. And then slide it back so they're even. And then push the other heel out. Your toes and knee caps are still up toward the ceiling. And back. And then push both heels out evenly. Contract through your abdominals and use them for control as you slowly roll your body back down onto the mat. Arms out to T position, palms up. And just let your body sink, kind of adjust, get that sacrum lower body sinking into the mat. It's time for our twist. So hands, palms up at T position. Press your lower back down. We're going to take the right knee and bend it straight up toward the ceiling as you put your right foot on your left thigh. And then we're going to roll all the way over to the left side, knee to the floor, hands together in front of you, head on the mat. Hold your knee with your left hand. Bring your right arm to the ceiling, right above your shoulder. Palm open, look at it, and keeping that palm up and the arm right at shoulder level, bring that hand down behind you as you look at it. So the more you keep your knee on the floor, the more that lower back is in the twist. You may feel adjustments there on this one. It's called sometimes the chiropractic twist. And as your arm and hand get to the floor or toward the floor, that's your middle back twist. Maximize or minimize your choice, your body. 
And keep turning your head. That's the neck and shoulder and the twist. Be gentle there if you need to. Keep your head on the floor so that you're not overstraining the neck muscles. If you need to, you can go ahead and put padding under your head. And again, just maximize or minimize for your body. Be gentle, exhaling, letting the ligaments release and adjust as they need to in this lower back twist. And then letting go of your knee, roll onto your back, slide the foot next to the other one, and take a moment to feel that stimulation through the lower back, through the sacrum, through your spine. And of course, we're going to twist the other way. It's a little bit harder for me because I've got my headset on. So I'm not going to keep the head on the floor quite like I should. Press your lower back down. Bend your left leg. Knees straight up toward the ceiling as you put your foot on the right side. Roll all the way, palms together to the floor, onto your right side. Knee all the way to the mat, to the floor. Take your right hand on the knee. Keep your head on the floor. I can't do that or you won't hear me. And bring your hand up toward the ceiling looking at it. Again, lowering that hand at shoulder level behind you. It may stay up in the air. That's okay. Just let gravity do the work of pulling that hand down when you're ready. And again, keeping the knee down. That's the lower back. If you need to be gentle, you can let it come up a little bit. But the more you keep it down, the more you'll get those adjustments realigning and balancing that lower back area. Head turning for your upper neck and shoulder, and just let the hand, arm, shoulder come toward the mat for your middle back twist. Maximize or minimize, keep breathing, relaxing on the exhalation, maximizing or minimizing whatever your body needs for its twist this morning. And as you breathe and relax, just allow your body to release into your twist as much as it would like. And when you're ready to release that twist completely, let go of your knee, roll onto your back, readjust and slide the legs down. Bring your hands near your hips, palms up, and relax your shoulders. Press your low back down, slide your sitting bones toward your heels. If you want to bend your knees and keep them bent, you can put padding under it, or you can kind of angle the knees a little bit toward each other for some support if you want to release through that lower back this morning. And then just breathe, exhale, and let your body sink into that surface beneath you. Close your eyes and focus inward, scanning through your body, especially through this hip lower back sacrum area, just let it soften and sink. Arms relaxed, shoulders relaxed, upper body released, and let your whole lower body sink as well, softening your legs and arms, everything deepening into your mat. And just let Mother Earth support you as she does every day, letting your body grow heavy and soft and relaxed. And as you allow your body to release, just allow your mind to release as well. Let your thoughts float. Let your mind drift. Allow thoughts of pleasant things to fill your mind, releasing any other thoughts, just letting them drift away like your breath. And as thoughts of flowers and bees and birds and the clouds floating gently on the sky come to mind, just allow your mind to soften and sink deep into that inner focus. And find the peace in the images of your thoughts and the peace within, filling your body, filling your being with peace and joy.
And of course, stay relaxed as long as you'd like. If you're ready to release, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, back to the room, back to your body. And with each breath, just allow your body to begin moving gently, moving your hands and feet, arms and legs, stretching gently, moving as you become ready. When you're ready to release, press your back down, bend your knee, draw your heels in. Again, sliding that sitting bone area toward your heels, get that lower back connected as you draw your knees up toward your heart. Exhale, you can bring your forehead toward your knees for that final hug of appreciation, letting your body know you appreciate its work in yoga today and every day. And when you're ready to release, just roll over to the side and sit back up and get ready for the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me this morning. Stay relaxed or get ready for whatever lies ahead for you.